What's up everybody, this is Flintlock, this is a demo version of the game and basically this is a game about a weapon, a Flintlock weapon which you can see behind my character and today we're going to be testing it out on an RX 6600 GPU paired with the Ryzen 5 3600 and 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200MHz RAM so let's head right into it, okay? Let's go to the settings first and in the graphics we are actually using uncapped frame rate for basing motion blur is turned off, we are using DX12 and no super sampling which actually, this game actually does have only got, uh, what do you call it? Uh, this game only has Intel XCSS in it, no FSR3 uh, or it might have DLSS but right now I cannot see any option for that because I'm using an AMD GPU and right now I'm using the best graphics preset and uh, yeah let's head right into the game as you can see the performance right here it doesn't look very good we're in the 40s uh, this is a demo version of the game basically so I think this was bound to happen this game is based on UE5 and it looks really intensive although not very good looking in my opinion as you can see the leaves and stuff, uh, the rest of the things, they, uh, vegetation and stuff, it does look good, but it doesn't look like UE5 with everything that it offers these days in other games. So we can slide, looks like, with, uh, with the left shift, but as you can see the performance right here is getting in the 40s and in the higher 30s most of the time, okay? So, uh, alright. All right, so let's lock on to the target and we can switch the targets with this and we can right click to shoot at different stuff. All right, so let's move on ahead. We're getting like 45 FPS average. I don't know why we're getting 45, but oh my God, the jump is pretty far. You can actually jump a lot farther than it looks like. So seems like uh, this is kind of like lies of P in my opinion. Uh, the type of attacks and stuff and the shooting, it feels like that game. But uh, the performance doesn't look like that because Lies of P had really nice performance and the game was also really good looking in my opinion and uh, still to this day the game is really nice to play. If you guys haven't checked it out I would uh, seriously hope you guys do that. Okay, uh, lock on to the enemy. I'm already locked on to him. I don't know what am I supposed to do. Okay, so we were supposed to disrupt his attack and then afterwards shoot him. Alright, so we're getting like 42 FPS average, although most of the times I would say that it's above uh, in the higher 30s, okay? So let's now go ahead and let's try XCSS here and I don't want to use performance. I'm going to use ultra quality. We're going to apply the settings and let's see how much of an improvement does it actually make. Okay, seems like it did make an improvement and uh, the FPS like uh, went above. Uh, went up like 10 FPS more. Alright, uh, let's jump up here. We're supposed to go to the yellow marker. Alright, we're getting like 54 FPS now. Let's start counting the frames again. Uh, the game is really good looking now, I think, uh, with the water, water portals and stuff. Textures, ground textures also look good, but uh, I think it depends upon the area where you are of how the game is gonna look in this scenario at least. Yeah, but uh, not for those uh, that cause some textures. They don't look very good. Killed all these enemies and we're getting 54 FPS average now, which feels and plays really smoothly. If this game had FSR 3 and frame generation, it would be really nice to run. It would feel also feel uh, really good because I think XCSS does improve performance a lot when you're using it with Intel GPUs but without Intel GPUs it doesn't actually make sense to use it in uh, most of the times okay all right so we got 54 FPS average let's try to use some other settings and let's see if we get some differences in performance when we decrease the graphic settings that's what's disable Intel XCSS go to advanced graphics and yes let's use ultra settings all right guys we are at ultra settings now uh, that which, which is lower than the best in this game and we're using no super sampling DX12 at 1080p native resolution. Alright, this is essentially the same in my opinion than uh, the best settings possible in this game. Alright, we're supposed to block the attacks and we're supposed to parry him now. Let's do it. Alright, okay, that was not a very good parry. I'm going to kill this guy. Oh my god, can you just die, bro? All right, he's dead. All right, we, uh, we're still getting the same performance, even we're not at, even though we're not at best settings, we're at ultra settings, but still the performance outside, as you guys can see, it's it's now more in the 40s, but but still, as you can see, it's still dropping into the 30s. So uh, if we're gonna use uh, XCSS, then I think the best settings would be the way to go in this game. 
in my opinion because that way it will look the best and uh, the, it will perform it will perform the best also in that case so it looks like we're getting into a boss fight uh, because I see someone there okay uh, I'm already locked on to him all right so we killed this guy uh, he was a little boss I think a mini boss battle and uh, we're supposed to talk to him we're still getting into the 40s as you guys can see we've got some more characters on the screen and now i think the game is becoming uh more and more intensive i cannot say the same for the characters they don't look very good uh their faces and stuff facial textures uh they look kind of outdated in my opinion considering this is built on unreal engine 5 and i don't know if uh developers are putting enough work into the facial textures and also the cut textures for other characters they look good but they look outdated now okay so we're getting in the 40s let's try to run it with xcss now once more and let's see now with ultra quality that if we can get uh, close to 60 fps because previously we were like in the 50s but we were not quite reaching 60 fps okay doesn't seem like we're actually gonna make a difference in this case also we're still stuck in the 50s uh, sometimes we're going into the 60s but uh, we're still most of the times above in the in the higher 50s but this area seems like it's lesser intensive than before that cloud type thingy that's uh, that you can see on the screen looks weird to me i don't know if it's coming on youtube coming out on youtube properly or not uh, i think that is smoke coming from a fire fire effect uh, fire effects with XCSS look good. Uh, all those sparkling stuff, it's still causing some ghosting effect even on XCSS. If you've, again, if you've got an Intel GPU, I think it's going to look far better and also perform better for you guys. Okay. Now, I hope the developers can actually add FSR 3 to this game when it actually launches. But right now, it uh, doesn't seem like it. What the heck? We got we got a boss battle? Okay. This is, this is actually a boss battle now. Am I actually uh, logged on to him? Yeah, now I am. Looks like he's gonna kill me. Uh, my <laughs> character or my weapons are not doing much damage, guys. So we're getting uh, most of the times above 60s now as we're inside an area or inside the castle. Oh, I think he's gonna beam me or something. Oh my god, what the heck is that? What? Was I supposed to die here? I think I was. Alright guys, we are getting in the 60s now. This is very good looking and also this is very good performing now. Uh, basically with XCSS without it. Uh, the performance was kind of the same in the 40s and higher 30s most of the times. Alright guys, we are now using high settings preset as you guys can see right here. And we're using 1080p mode without any XSS. And let's head right into the game. I see a significant decrease in visual fidelity coming from ultra to high settings. So... And also you guys can see the performance right there is in the 70s now. As soon as this cutscene ends, I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but as you guys can see the vegetation and stuff, it doesn't look uh, quite clear as it was before. It, it's more sparse. This grass is kind of more sparse. Textures, they're also a lot more uh, blurry, I would say. Uh, not more detailed than before. And yeah, ground textures also. There's a lot of stuff missing. So if you guys want better performance, then I think this is the way to go. You guys can get better performance and still play the game like this, alright? So we cannot break any stuff. As soon as we're inside an area, we're getting like in the 80s, higher 80s. Now at this point, if you've got 144Hz monitor, you can actually turn XCSS on as I'm gonna do just now. And in my opinion, this game does show a really nice representation of XCSS and does look ni uh, quite nice yeah although some of the effects are causing shimmeriness and uh, some ghostiness around the objects but that's a given it's gonna happen uh, even if you're using fsr3 xcss or uh, dlss all right this is gonna happen this these are just the disadvantages of using upscaling all right so let's try to jump here yeah no i think we were supposed to jump down here okay uh, so uh, frame rate is dropping now i don't know why we're chasing this guy uh, this fox type thingy but he's taking us somewhere we're getting 85 fps average i just uh, restarted the frame count just to see that if this area is uh, kind of more intensive than the previous one because uh, it's, uh, it's performing a little bit worse than before because we were getting like 100 fps with xcss now we're getting like in the 80s so it didn't make much of a difference yeah okay so as you guys can see, uh, if you guys want better performance, you guys have to use high settings. If you guys want 
uh, higher visual fidelity you can use the best settings with xcss and it's gonna net you really nice performance all right guys we're using a uh, medium setting preset now and as you guys can see right here and we're using no xcss this is native resolution dx12 and as you guys can see medium preset has also made some of the difference some of the difference and uh, the textures have gone really bad now uh, I don't know what it's telling me. It's telling me to double jump. All right. And oh my God, this game has a lot of uh, the Parker stuff also. All right. This feels really, ni really nice. All right. Uh, after I restarted the frame count. So as you guys can see right here, we're getting like in the 110s, 120s. If you've got a GPU that is not quite capable, uh, like a 6500 RX 6500 or uh, an R RTX 3050 or something like that. You guys uh, might find that it's gonna be performance. Uh, it's gonna be performing better on these settings and not at best settings. All right. So I recommend you guys to use these settings for those kind of GPUs. But uh, the game is performing really, not uh, really nicely now. I need no reason now to actually use XCSS because native resolution is already performing pretty nice. If you've got a higher refresh rate, uh, if you've got a higher refresh rate monitor, this is kind of a kind of a higher refresh rate experience. Okay. Now let's move on ahead to low settings and let's see if there is any room left for not being GPU dependent. All right, guys, we are at low settings preset, as you guys can see right here, 1080p and no XCSS right now. Okay, looks like we're still kind of GPU bound, although some, uh, yeah, somewhat, it's, it's somewhat getting CPU bound now <laughs> and textures and stuff, graphical effects and everything doesn't look very good. Okay, T to cast, uh... Some kind of storm this was an ability and it caused some fps drops all right so we got something guys we got something that actually drops our fps uh, at these settings also so yeah now getting in the 120s most of the times and 110s this is a really nice experience as always if you've got a gpu that is not performance uh that is not performing like this then you guys can use these settings and you guys can also play the games uh this kind of uh you guys can also play this game and right now this is actually free to play because this is a demo version of the game oh my god so my this fox type thingy can actually kill people all right this is not just for navigation and stuff okay getting 113 fps average which is really nice now i want to see if i use xcss here if i get better performance further than this because i'm quite uh i'm getting quite cpu bound now no i uh yeah it just went back but it's still a little bit better than before it's a little bit better than before i think all right guys getting uh in the 120s again so i think this did make somewhat of a difference but not that much okay compared to before so i hope you enjoyed today's video please leave a like subscribe to the channel for more content and i will see you all in the next one Bye bye